What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over an option strategy, what you can do with only $10,000 to make $100 every single week in the stock market just by selling options. Now this is a pretty safe strategy. It's a lot safer than outright buying stock and outright buying calls and puts. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is, as we can see in my portfolio, I mostly sell cash or care puts. It's my favorite strategy. It's a very safe strategy for passive income. You do have to like manage it every now and then, um, but overall, it's a pretty safe strategy. So we can take a look at something like Roblox. Um, pretty new stock, pretty volatile. No one really knows what's a fair value, but we'll be using this as an example. Uh, so. For the strategy, we will need around six, somewhere between six thousand to sixty-five hundred dollars. Uh, so we can look at the options train right here, um, and something like either a sixty-four dollar strike or sixty-five dollar strike would be pretty good. Obviously, we want to go on to sell and put. This would be. Uh, selecting the cash secured put option we're going to be writing these contracts we're going to be selling these options we're not going to be buying buying the uh the contracts we're going to be the ones actually writing the options contracts so if we do something like a 65 dollar strike put uh, we can select it here uh, click continue enter one we can see that for writing this contract will be getting a hundred and thirty dollars uh a premium this goes directly to your buying power you could do whatever you want you could pay bills with it buy meals anything you want it's yours to keep but we do have to put down a collateral and what the collateral is going to be it's going to be the strike price multiplied by a hundred because remember every contract it's it's uh, moving a hundred shares so in this case, we're going to be, have to put down uh, $6,500 of collateral. And this is tied up until you either close out the contract or the contract expires worthless. So we can see March 9th, which is just next week, and we collect $130. This is a lot safer than outright buying the stock because we are selecting a strike that is a lot lower than the current price. So if the stock stays, basically what this is saying is if the stock stays above $65 by April 9th, basically when we win the trade, we collect our $130 of premium and our collateral gets released back to us to enter in more trades. Now, of course, if the stock drops below $65, we'll have to buy 100 shares at $65 each. And that's a lot safer than buying 100 shares immediately because if we buy 100 shares immediately, our cost basis will be $67.66 per share. Uh, so you're going to be losing a ton more money if the stock tanks rather than selling a put. The downside to this is the max profit you can make on this trade would be $130. If Roblox goes to say a hundred dollars per share, you're going to be missing out on all that profit because our our premium that we collected is only hundred thirty dollars. So that's the downsides and the upsides to selling cash care puts. Um, it's a pretty safe strategy and in return some consistent income, but you do risk out on making a lot of profit if the stock decides to skyrocket. So we can do this every week. Um, if you want to be safer, you could use something like the $64 strike and you will collect around somewhere between 90, 90 to $100 of premium for this one. Obviously, the lower you go, the safer it is and the less premium we're going to be collecting. But something like this would be perfectly acceptable. We can take out we can take a look at some other stocks. Uh, Palantirs is another one that I like to sell cash puts on. Um, something like okay, we'll go to the cells, we we'll go to the puts. So, I like to do not just one week out, but maybe two weeks out. That sounds good to me. Premiums are going to be a little bit more, but we can go a little further down. 
something like a $21 strike put or a 21.5 strike put would be pretty good and so this one 21.5 um, of course we would need 21 around $2,100 of collateral for this trade and we collect $50 of premium and you do that uh, twice if you have uh, if you have ten thousand dollars and you do sell four of these contracts, you will make around two hundred dollars um, for a two week period. And of course, if we do it on a weekly basis, that's around a hundred dollars a week. So that's and of course, if Palantir stays above twenty one dollars fifty cents, the contract expires worth this person who buys the contract is going to be losing money and you collect your full premium of uh, $50 per contract if you sell multiple contracts you'll be collecting more premium that's pretty much what the strategy is all about we're selling puts we're not buying puts we're not buying calls we're selling cash secured puts which is basically getting paid to place a limit by order at a lower price getting paid to buy stock at a lower cost basis is how I look at it. It's a pretty safe strategy. I like to go pretty far out the money um, just so I don't get uh, exercised, I don't get assigned shares, and once the contract expires, I repeat the process and sell more puts on other stocks. So the stocks that you wanna choose are going to be stuff like Palantir, Roblox, something like ARK Invest, ETFs are pretty good. Um, it just depends on how much uh, capital you have in your account, how much collateral you can afford. Um, obviously, something like ARK Invest would take a lot more collateral because you do need to cover 100 shares if you get assigned. But we can see that ARK Invest pays some pretty good premiums. Uh, we are lagging a bit, but let's take a look at the options chain. Uh, let's scroll down. We want to do something around... I would be comfortable anywhere between 110 and $115 strike puts. Obviously, I have been selling some $110 strike puts, and it's done pretty well. The premium bleeds out every day as long as the, uh, the underlying stock stays flat or goes up. And if you do want to close these contracts out early, you can. You just have to pay back the premium. So if, it, so if you open up a contract for, say, $100, and it bleeds out to $50. As we can see here, we can buy it back for $50 and we make uh, an overall profit of $50 on this trade. Uh, I like to do this if the contracts end up bleeding out uh, so much that it just isn't worth to keep to continue holding. Um, normally, when the underlying stock increases at a very fast rate, uh, the cash secured puts obviously will lose a lot of value and you can close it out for most of your profit. That's about it for this video. If you still have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Leave a like if this video helped in any way. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We make videos on stocks, options, and personal finance uh, every week. Thanks for watching.